Well, hello, friends, and welcome back to the farm. My name is Alicia, and I'm so glad that you're here today at Country Mama Musings. You know, recently, Papa Jim and I wanted to take a special Saturday and drive out to our local Amish community to pick up some supplies to get us through this next canning season and meals in a jar season and fun seasons that I'm going to need all kinds of really neat things from the Amish market. I love getting some of my supplies there. So I thought I would bring you into my kitchen here on the farm and show you what we picked up out at the Amish market. Now we enjoy getting a lot of our supplies out at the Amish market, but I had something in particular I wanted to get this time. And that was mostly my herbs and spices and I wanted to find some barley for my soups. So this is what we got this time. And first of all, since I've got my hand on it already, I picked up some beautiful seven grain cereal with flax seeds in it. I just really love using this when I make my homemade bread. I'll put the link to that video right up here. I love using wheat flour. I love mixing the wheat flour with the white flour. We're not to the stage yet where we are grinding up our own wheat berries, but that will be coming someday. When I make my artisan bread, I love to roll that beautiful loaf of bread in this seven grain cereal. I mix it in there a little bit. It's all on the outside. So we do get that added benefit of the cereal there. So this is one of my favorite things I love to pick up out at the Amish market. I got this entire big bag. It's two full pounds, one ounce for only $4.39. This will last me a long time because all I use it for is baking my bread. So I really do love picking this up. Next on the list here is the barley. I bought all the barley that only one market had. I only found barley at one spot. And I picked up this beautiful little bag of pearled barley. I got four of them. They're little one pound little bags and they were only 89 cents a pound. So 89 cents a pound for pearled barley. I'm going to put this in some future soups. I might cook them in my Instant Pot. I might cook them out in my sun oven. Don't know yet, but I've got it. And I think it would be really great to just add to a really nice hearty soup. I do have something that just arrived in the mail this week and it is jackfruit cubes of young jackfruit that when you marinate them and seize them right, they're gonna be just like beef stew. I think I'll make a beef and barley stew. So four beautiful pounds of barley. There's one, two, and then I got two more pounds down here. So I got four pounds of barley. So I really am pleased to find that. That was one of the main things I was going for. And then I have all of these beautiful herbs and spices. Friends, if you have an Amish market near you where you can go for the day and do some shopping, I'd like to encourage you to do that. Kind of get off grid for a little while and just go back to where life is simple and appreciate the lifestyle. I made a video a while back about the Fiesta beans and how I make my own ranch mix to go into the Fiesta beans. I made the mix, it was beautiful, but it was with really dark uh, chili powder and I wanted a little bit brighter color so I was able to pick up a big container of this beautiful red chili powder it is lovely one full pound six dollars and ninety five cents that was a good deal because if you just get the little packets of chili at the store it's incredible it's expensive this was a good deal I was happy to get this even though it was one of my pricier uh, purchases of the day I was really happy to get that now let me show you something I got that I was so happy to find because I have a recipe that calls for herbs de Provence and it's so fancy, right? So fancy sounding. Well, I was able to go to um, my local big box store and I picked up this bottle of herbs de Provence. It's 0.4 of one ounce, so four tenths of one ounce. This cost me $5, $5 for this herbs de Provence. And, but I needed it for a recipe. Well, when I went out to the Amish market, I was able to get this big container of Herbes de Provence. It is a full two ounces, so five times the amount. If I were to get five of these, that would be $25. I got this entire little container here for $2.35. What a bargain, right? Very happy to find that. You know, another thing that I wanted to put in my pantry are whole cloves. 
I think it's so important to have whole cloves. You can make a clove oil. You can use that as an oral antiseptic. And if you have a toothache, also you can just put a whole clove in a cavity. If you have a toothache, you can do that. It's important to have whole cloves. And also in the winter time, I love taking oranges and decorating them with whole cloves and hanging them up in the kitchen. They last a long time and they smell so beautiful. Well, friends, again, I needed some cloves this last winter and I had not been out to the Amish market, so I went to that same big box store and I got this bottle of cloves. Again, about $5. But out of the Amish store, look what I got. I got this entire packet, not just one, I got two. I got two full packets of cloves. These are two ounces of cloves. Again, this isn't even a full ounce of cloves. It's half an ounce of cloves. Two ounces here for $1.50 a piece. So I got quite a bit more for about half the price. Very happy to have cloves on hand for this upcoming year. Trying to work from right to left so that I don't get anything confused. So I've already got my barley and my cloves and my herbs de Provence over here and my chili powder. Let's move on to some other things that I picked up out at the Amish market. I picked up two large containers of dill weed. Now, two years ago in my garden, I grew dill and I loved using it in some of my recipes and when I made my pickles. And last year I grew some dill just in one bucket. I was just gonna do one bucket of dill and I had a beautiful swallowtail caterpillar move in and make that her home and she was eating all of my dill. And I thought, you know, I'm just gonna leave her alone. I'm gonna let nature do its thing. I left her on that dill plant thinking she'll only eat a little. Well, I was wrong. She devoured the entire bucket of dill in just a matter of one or two days. So I didn't have any dill to put up this last year. But no worries, because I knew that eventually I'd make it out to my friends out at the Amish market, and I was able to pick up two large containers of dill weed, two of them. Look how much dill weed I have to work with now. And I got them for $3 a piece. Now I was really happy to pick these up because I do have a recipe video coming up soon and I'm going to need my dill weed. My friend Casey over at Ormsby Farms, I'll drop his link in the description box below. Make sure you go check him out. I promised I'd share with him my buttermilk ranch dip recipe and I needed some dill weed for that. So I will be doing that video. Make sure you watch for that. It is delicious. I love it. There's nothing better than homemade buttermilk ranch. So that's what I got all this dill for, primarily for the buttermilk ranch. Let's keep going with these big containers because I grabbed almost two of everything. I was also able to pick up two large containers of parsley. Now, you know, you can get parsley in the little bottles at the store, and even if you get them at a really good price, they're a dollar a piece. They add up real quick. I got this big, huge container for $1.60, and this one for $1.60. I have plenty of parsley to put into all of my meals and jars when I put those together this year. If you have not been following the meals in a jar, oh friend, you're missing out. Make sure you go back and check my recipes and get some really great videos for putting together some really great soup bases and some meals in a jar and you're gonna be happy that you have that parsley. Moving on, I got this big beautiful container here of pizza topping. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet, but it intrigued me. It has oregano and all kinds of lovely spices in it. Some uh, minced onions, garlic, all kinds of fun stuff. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet. And it was probably a purchase that I didn't really need to have, but I'm sure I can find something to do with it. $5.80, it wasn't my most expensive purchase of the day, but it was up there. And I'm gonna to have to justify it by finding something to do with it. If you have used a dry pizza topping and you have some ideas on how I can use this, comment below. Let me know what you would do with it. Maybe I'll try it and maybe I'll even make a video about it. Another thing that I always get when I go out to the Amish markets is cinnamon. I got this big, beautiful container of cinnamon for only $4.80. This is gonna go into my baking this next year. It's gonna go into some brown sugar to go onto our, uh, our sweet potatoes, all kinds of fun things. You can never have too much cinnamon. And I'm also gonna be putting up a lot of baked beans. I'm gonna be canning a lot of baked beans and one of the ingredients 
For my sauce for my baked beans is ground mustard. So I picked up this big, huge container of ground mustard. I only paid $3.20 for this big, huge container of ground mustard. This is going to last me a while, but I'm going to do a lot of fun stuff with it because Lord knows I bought about 20 pounds of beans the other day and they're all gonna have to go into my jars. I've got my jars right over here. So that's it for the larger containers. Then we come down to these smaller containers. And what do I have here? Oh, something I love to use all the time. I haven't been real successful at growing my own chives. And you know, sometimes it's just hard to keep those on hand. Two big containers of dried chives. Yum, so wonderful. I love adding them to soups and all kinds of fun recipes. $2.80 per container. Can't beat the price, friends. I'm telling you, I love going out and supporting my Amish market. Moving on, what else did I get? I have, ooh, I got three containers of chives. I knew I needed chives. I wasn't gonna get out of there with getting everything. They, I think I took the last ones off the shelf. They had more though, I'm not worried about it. Okay, I picked up a container of dried cilantro. I love using fresh cilantro. But if I'm going to be doing any type of like a taco soup or something, I love sprinkling some cilantro in. If I don't have the chance to get to the store to get fresh cilantro, or if I don't have any growing in my garden, or if I don't even have any stored in the freezer, I like having some dried cilantro. So I picked up this one container for a dollar. Look how much dried cilantro for one dollar. I'm telling you. <gasps> Two containers of cilantro. So I doubled up on the cilantro as well. I'm very happy to have that. And you know, like I said, I have all of my jars sitting off here to the side. I'm gonna get my little jelly jars. I'm going to get my pint jars and even some quart jars for some of the larger containers. These are all gonna go into my jars. They're all gonna be vacuum sealed so I know that they will stay fresh in my long-term pantry so I have them when I need them. Oh, yum, friends. This was one thing I was really happy to get. This is a MSG free. It has no MSG in it. It's a natural garlic and herb seasoning. I love this. I'm going to use this on my bread. When I make my artisan bread, I like to do it a couple of different ways. As I mentioned earlier, sometimes I like to use the cereal and I roll it in the oats and the cereal that has the flax. But sometimes I like to roll it in a beautiful garlic herb blend. And that's what this is for. So I picked up two of them because this summer I really hope to make a loaf of bread every couple days out there in my sun oven. All right, and moving on to these last little containers that we were able to pick up on our little day out to the Amish country. I love these little containers. I don't want to invite pests over into the pantry, so these will be going into jars as well. But I have a really fun recipe for a 15 bean pizza soup. And one thing that's really nice to throw in there is some fennel seed. So you kind of get that sausage flavor without adding the sausage. So I was able to pick up two containers of fennel seed, 50 cents a piece. All of this fennel for 50 cents. So I picked up two of those. And the other day when I was watching my Aussie kitchen and garden with Daz, he was talking about how much he loves to add some powdered celery, some dried celery into some of his recipes. So I was able to pick up some ground celery, some really nice celery powder, and I can add that to my soup bases as well. So I picked up two of those. Again, a whole container, only 50 cents for this beautiful ground celery. Now I'm growing basil this year. I grew it last year and the year before. I have tons of it in the freezer. I love nothing more than fresh basil picked right out of my garden and then make a beautiful margarita pizza. But sometimes I've got things that call for some dried basil. I've got it in the freezer. I've got it dried already, but I couldn't resist the chance to pick up a couple more while I was out at the market. So I picked up two containers of some dried basil, only 60 cents a piece. I also picked up some Italian seasoning for some of my recipes that I'm gonna be doing, or even if I just really wanna dress up a nice loaf of artisan bread. I got two containers of Italian seasoning, 80 cents a piece. And then I picked up two containers of ground sage. Now I do have some recipes, don't know what I'm gonna use it for, but I picked up two of them. I've got it if I need it, 70 cents. Oh, I can smell it, 70 cents a piece for the ground sage. Picked up two of those. And then I picked up two containers of whole thyme. Now I try to have thyme in my garden. Last year my chickens got into my garden. They ate all of my oregano and all of my thyme, but I've got some here. 
So I got two packets of Time, again, 70 cents a piece. And I've got two things left. I picked up two containers of ground cloves. Oh, beautiful. Oh, that smells so good. $1.40, these were a little bit more than these, but that's okay because I know I'm gonna be able to do something with them. I have two packets of ground cloves that will be put away appropriately. And I know that I've got pretty much what I wanna have now. In my long-term pantry, I'll put some into my working pantry as well. I'd like to know, with regards to herbs and spices, what are some of your favorite herbs and spices? What are some must-haves for your pantry? Make sure you comment below and share with us what some of your top choices are for your herbs and your spices. Well, that's all for today, friends. I have to get all of this into their jars, get them into the pantry, and move on to something else here on the farm. There's always something to do. If you've enjoyed this video, I hope that you will subscribe, hit the thumbs up, share it, and if you're out and about and you find yourself in Amish country, be sure to stop off say hello, support their local markets, and just enjoy the day. Until I see you again here on the farm, take care of yourself, take care of each other, and have a blessed day. Bye-bye.